Hey, this is Quinn from The Outcome checking in. Uh, I'm here at uh, The Outcome Rehearsal Studio and I uh, just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a rig rundown and let you know uh, what kind of gear I'm playing through and everything. So, uh, first of all, look at that Outcome t-shirt. That thing is sexy and it's only $20, so uh, check it out. Anyway, uh, before I get to my stuff, I'll give you a little uh, rundown of the room. We've got a Andy's DW kit. We've got a little mood lighting over there with some knickknacks and batteries. Uh, we've got a microphone uh, hanging from the ceiling. Uh, over here we've got a Mike slash Andy's nice old jazz bass. But uh, I'm going to get down to the nitty gritty. Here's, uh, here's my gear. I'm going to start off with, uh, I'm going to turn it this way a little bit. This is my uh, Gibson ES335. Um, I bought this in 2005 when uh, I got uh, a real job. I've been uh, a professional musician for quite some time and still gig regularly, but I also got a real job that I do during the day. Uh, music gets me through this. It allows me to do music, so bada bing, bada boom. Uh, this is an ES335.net satin finish. Um, I had some modifications done to it from the burn tone. Um, if you need any amp stuff done or guitar setups, go to theburntone.com. He's the best. Um, had uh, these uh, the volume and tone knob here. They are dead. Now I just I, I have all three pickup selections going through these two knobs. Pretty cool. Uh, this guitar gets a great dark sound and sustain for days which uh, complements Jesse's uh, guitar as well. So when we're both playing, we complement each other nicely. Moving on, this is my pedal board. Uh, I currently use, uh, it is a custom pedal board that was uh, um, constructed by none other than Mr. Andrew Dibbon in the band. And uh, if anyone knows Andy, they know that he knows a lot about a lot. Uh, not only is he a great drummer, but he knows a lot about a shitload. So anyway, um, right here, I've got a Strymon Big Sky. It's a reverberator. It's crazy. I've got a Strymon Timeline. It's a delay pedal. It gets crazy. I've got a Strymon Mobius uh, time-based effects, uh, modulation, chorus, phaser. It's crazy. I've got an LR Bags, uh, Acoustic DI. Not so crazy. Tuner. Not that crazy. Super shifter. You can do a lot of crazy stuff with this. Kind of crazy. I've got the rat. Um, the rat, I'm going to be completely honest with you guys, it's not long for this world. So, uh, or this pedal board, I should say. So if you see me at a gig and it's not there, sayonara. Uh, this is a, uh, a custom pedal made from the burn tone. Uh, it's a Zvex uh, Super Hard On clone. It's a great clean boost. It gives like a sparkle, nice sparkling boost to a clean drive. I've got an exotic wah, which is a super, uh, super clean wah. It's a little bit smaller than a regular wah. It's great. It's crazy. Uh, Ernie Ball VP Jr. volume pedal. Not that crazy. This is a Boss ES8. It is a buffer and a channel selector. And I mean, look at all those buttons. It's crazy. Moving on, the amp I play through is a Syriatone Overtone Special. This is a one-of-a-kind amp. Um, my father put it together. I bought a kit. It's a clone of a um, of a Dumble Overdrive Special. So this is the 50 watt version. Uh, these cabinets were uh, specially made um, from Andrew Dibbon. And if you guys don't know anything, uh, besides being a great drummer, he knows a lot about a lot. Um, this amp is great. Uh, a lot of uh, guitarists, such as like Robin Ford, uh, John Mayer, they use kind of Dumble sounding amps. Uh, I get like a really great tone out of this. Uh, inside this cabinet, I've got an EV-112. Those speakers are great. Uh, for rehearsals and stuff where we don't use the cabinet, I've got a Mesa Cab clone. And, uh, and yeah, this is it. Um, hope to see you guys come out to, uh, to some outcome shows. 
and uh, thanks so much for listening.